Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Shantan and I am ready with a new video. But before going to the video, uh, let me just shave in one second. That's better. So let's go to the topic. So today's topic is uh, about the video editing software. So I am going to talk about uh, the video editing software which I use and that too on a mobile because see. Um, we, we all means I am into software industries and uh, most of my time goes in front of a laptop and then after coming back to home I hate sitting in front of the laptop so I need a software and I am sure many uh, like me wants a software video editing software which we can operate on a mobile so that is our topic today now I want my software to be lightweight, less in price, easy to use and having all the basic features. Now there is a software which fulfills all my requirements and the name of the software is Power Director. So uh, I am using that software for very long time and I am going to show you how to edit videos in Power Director because most of us wants to upload videos in youtube not only in youtube we want to upload uh, we want to create videos uh, they don't know how to create the videos or how to edit the videos and in windows there are so many softwares i will talk uh, about the windows editing software later point of time in my uh, f uh, future videos but today i am going to talk about power director let's see how to do the editing on that software Let's start with the application. Uh, first, you have to uh, download the Power Director app from uh, Google Play Store. Uh, once you open the app, first on the left hand side, you will get the tutorials. So, you can go through the tutorials to get more knowledge. Uh, on the right hand side, you can see produce video option will come, and then in the middle, you will get uh, option to create a new project. So, as we are going to create a new project, uh, we have to click on this new project. So, it will ask you to give a name for your project. So, I am giving a name test, and then you have to select the aspect ratio of your project. So, I am selecting 16 is to 9. Click on OK. Once you click uh, on OK, it will take you to the media panel. So just go back and this is the timeline, the screen on the left hand side, you will see couple of editing option and the right hand side also you will get couple of uh, editing option which I will show in the video. So first thing uh, what we have to do is to add a new video into our timeline below this uh, option uh, below part you can see is the timeline and where we have to add the video. So let's add a video. Uh, so once uh, we will go to this option this media uh, will get all these uh, video files all the images all the music so i'm going to add a video clip so let's take a video from my diga vlog let's add it now whenever you will select any of the video clip you will see this plus and play button is coming plus means if you want to add the video file into your timeline and if you want to play the video file without adding into your timeline you can click on this play button so you will come to know like what uh, data it is having so if you click over here good morning friends so we all set to leave the so this is how you can play the video clip before uh, bringing it into your uh, timeline. Now this is how you are supposed to uh, add the video into your timeline. Now let's check few other option of how to edit the video into the timeline. So to edit the video you have to select the video clipping once this green border will come to your uh, video files then on the left hand side you can see like couple of uh, editing options so click on this button you will get like uh, if you you can adjust the volume you can rotate the video clip you can set the color tutorial speed flip uh, skin smoothener crop duplicate and reverse so all these options are available so i am going to increase the sound first so uh, you can you can select the sound 
and you can increase if you want to uh, add some color to it there are many options like many themes available so you can you can select from these themes so let's check out if any good themes are available or not so this themes looks brighter so i'm going to use this theme so let's play the clip this now. was the hotel we were staying it's seabird so uh, this is how you can you can change the color temperature even even if you want to uh, uh, edit further go back to color you will get some other option where you can you can adjust the brightness contrast uh, saturation and even you will be able to adjust the color temperature and tint now uh, if you want to rip the video uh, or or if you want to cut the video from any any place you have an option to just select the video you can you can play Z and if you feel if you feel like you need to cut that part the cut some of the section from your video file what you can do is yeah it's seabird a decent hotel and the rooms are clean so that is the so i i want to cut from here so what i have to do i have to select the video clip and i have to use this button so once you click see both the clips are divided now uh, both are separated so you can actually uh, remove few parts so if i want to cut from here also so this part i want to remove i don't want in my uh, timeline so you can click on the delete button so now you can see both the the selected clip is now separated and it will play like this yeah it's seabird a decent so the unwanted part i have removed now i will check uh, i will show you how to add different video files and how to add music files so uh, what i am doing i'm just removing this i will add some more video file so let's add this part so this is again one more video file so let's play and see how it is coming let's see so you can see there is so much background noise which i uh, you can see so much background noise coming from the actual video file so what i want i want to reduce the actual uh, video volume and i want to add some music to it so what I will do, I will just go to edit and I will go to volume and I will reduce the sound. Now what I have to do, I have to add music to this video file. Otherwise it will look dull. So you can see now there is no sound. So I have to add a music to it. So how to add a music, just click on this media button and go to music. And I will download it from my Google Drive. So you can you, you have the option to play the uh, music file from here or you can directly add. So I will add it. So if you select, you can see play and add button. I will add it. And then you can uh, set the position by dragging the audio clip or a video clip. Both you can you can select and you can just drag it around your timeline. So I, uh, uh, I will set it from here. Now let's play now. Let's see. So this is how I have added the audio clip and the video clip. Now if you want to edit the audio, what do you have to do? Uh, you have again, will have to go to the edit section and you will have the option to edit the audio. If you want to increase or decrease the sound, you can do that. If you want to uh, do the mixing of the complete sound, like you have the uh, video panel, two layers and two music panels. So if you want to adjust the volume of that, you can do, do it from the mixture. And if you want to use the fade in and fade out option, fade in and fade out option will uh, help you to start the music in a gentle manner. So it will. So suddenly the sound will not increase the increase the sound will increase slowly so this is how you have to uh, do the editing of your video files and audio files and as i have shown you how to cut 
the video files like you can select and you can just use this cut button and you can remove the unnecessary part similarly you can cut your audio files using the same uh, switch and you can remove the unnecessary audio files as well now we'll see how to add a layers to your video now uh, this option will help you to add the layers if you click over here it will allow you to add title stickers video and images now let's see how to add image or title uh, click on title so here we have a lot of title animation available uh, with this particular software so you can you can run any of this and you can see how it will come how the uh, text will come and it will go so you can select from your uh, required template uh, let's use this one okay so i will be using this one only sorry sorry or maybe uh, let's use this so if you click over here it will give you to edit the option so i will edit the text so you can reposition it you can increase the size of the text from here and if you want to edit it you can just click on this layer and then go to this edit option so text designer and then it will it will allow you to change the color of the text and then if you want to change the font of the text you can do it from here so this is how it will start good morning friends so we all set to leave the so this is how you can add layers you can add multiple layers not only a single layer you can add a multiple layer but in power director it will support up to two layers so you cannot add more than two layers into a same timeline uh, and also it will not allow you to add more than two music layers so let's add some image to it So I'm adding some random image and let's see how it is coming. So we all set now you can the... you can just uh, set the position where it should come and you can set the size of the image also. So if you want and you can set the position where it will start if you want to increase the length if you want to decrease the length all those things you can do it from this timeline so let's see how it is coming i want to set it and it will finish at the same time good morning friends so we all set to leave so there is a bit problem you can see the text is coming below to your image so let's change the position of the image a bit Yeah, that's better. So let's play now. Good morning, friends. So we all set to leave the ghar. So this is how you can add multiple layers. Your layers could be a text, it, it could be an image, or uh, you can add a different video into your uh, timeline or as a layer. So uh, maybe in this layer, if you want to add one more layer of video, you can go to video and you can select the video. Mm, let's add this one so i will i will not be using the complete one maybe a little bit and you can play it on the side so this is how you you can use the layer section to add title text anything now next option is like how to move the object through the timeline now if you want to move any object it could be your video file it could be your layer file it could be your audio file if you want to move just select the object and then drag it through your timeline 
so automatically it will move and if you want to uh, rip down or if you want to reduce the length increase the length of the object you can select and then you can uh, increase and decrease the length of your object so this is how you can do the next thing is the video transition or audio transition now see the video transition is a very useful thing when uh, you want to do some uh, dramatic uh, short or, or you want to include sh uh, some dramatic shot into your video so here we have an option you can see i sorry uh, this option selected option right over here in between two clips it is uh, a, a, the section where you can add the transition so if you click over here uh, from power director there are so many transitions available now if you want to play any of this transition you can just play and this is how it will change from one clip one video clip to the other video clip now let's use some this kind of so if you click okay sorry you have to select and then add so now let's see how it is looking like uh, let's see So this is all about like you have we we have uh, added the video into the timeline we have seen how to edit the video we have added the music we have edited the music uh, we have seen like how to add the objects layers everything now uh, once you are ready with your complete video file we have to export the video now to export the video uh, this option will help you on the right hand side top corner if you click over here it will ask you to save the project or produce the video produce producing the video is nothing but uh, rendering the video in in uh, like if you are using other uh, editing software uh, in your laptop or desktop uh, rendering is a mo most co uh, common word so producing a video is uh, similar to that uh, like you, you are exporting your project into a single video file and uh, you can save the project like uh, suppose maybe you have uh, created some project you have worked uh, maybe halfway through and then you want to save it and then later you want to work on that so you, in that case you can save the project so we will go to the produce video option and then there are uh, multiple options uh, where you can share the video directly from your power director to uh, facebook youtube but we are not going to do that i am going to save this video on my sd card now the name of the video file what will be the resolution now if you want to set the settings you can go to settings you can save the you can set the location external storage or internal storage you can you can set the bit rate you can set the uh, frame per second everything you can set and click on ok so as soon as you click on ok it will it will start producing the video so once it is done then you can you can play your actual footage So thank you so much for uh, watching the video and if you feel the video is helpful for you then hit the like button, leave your comment and please subscribe to my channel because I am going to bring more um, such kind of reviews or tutorial videos in future. Thank you so much.